My friend, my friend, this is a great song as far as chords go. I hope you dig it. If you like it, please subscribe, comment below, and keep it classy, would ya? Okay, when we go to the first measure on page 69 of the Daily Ukulele Songbook, we find ourselves on Dream a Little Dream of Me. What a great song. Uh, we're gonna go to the first measure. There's two sharps, so we're in the key of D major, which means we're gonna play a D major, an E minor, an F sharp minor, a G major, an A major, a B minor, then we're gonna have a C sharp diminish, and it's gonna go right back into D. When we have this, we're gonna go, la, la, la. there's our seven one. So what we're gonna see here, the song has all those seven diatonic chords. However, out of the key, we've got a B flat seven, which is a big old bar, and then our finger here, pay attention to this, because a B flat seven is gonna be used, then the next phrasing, we're gonna use a B seven. That's what makes this song awesome. Wait for it. D major goes to B flat seven. And remember, if you're not getting all those notes, you need to press down harder. So you do. Okay. And then it goes down to an A seven. Watch it again. seven whisper i love you e minor seven i like to put an e minor down and then throw the d up top which is the seventh e minor seven is going to go to a c9 so play like you're playing a c now think about it what's the nine c d e f g a b c eight nine c d yeah great so you can either play a c here and add this or you can get groovy jazzy throw the d down here and add the seventh because what happens is anytime we've got a triad and we want to go above that eighth note the p8 the c above we need to add the seventh the seventh in this case in the key of c is b flat because that is the dominant seventh so when we play a c major with the d note and that we get oh my goodness let's hear it in context yeah Now, it looks exactly like the F major, it's just horizontally on the B flat and the D in lieu of the F and the A. Oh, that helps. So once we get past the C9, we're gonna go to the first ending for a D major, E7, hold it to A7. Back to the top. Sing a little G minor seven. Now what we're gonna do for a G minor simple, simple, simple. G major, keep the G, move this to here. You're gonna get your minor, right? So when we're doing the G minor seven, we wanna drop down our root to the dominant seventh, which means simply said, we're gonna have ding, 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 and then keep the high G open cause it's in the chord. Let's hear it in context. Woo, 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 woo from the C9. Me, oh, dream a little dream of me. That's gonna be right, yeah, you got it. So we're gonna be playing the C9. One, two, two, D, to a G minor seven, to an A seven, right back to the D. The next chord's gonna be B flat major. It might feel a little bit out of context, but it does fit there for the stars. F is gonna add the dominant seventh. Back to the B, still I'm craving your kiss. We're gonna go back and forth between the F7. You can use your pinky or the third finger, but make sure you're hitting that E flat or the D sharp. D sharp, E flat, same note. F major, cha-cha. So when we're doing those three notes, it's gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then it's gonna land on an A7. 
which is gonna function as a lending tone and it's gonna be leading us to another key and that key happens to be the same key we're going back into <laughs> back up the top for the third verse so da -da 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 -da. sweet dreams the sunbeams find you sweet dreams will leave my worries behind too but I'm in your dreams, whatever they may be. Third time we go through the last, second to last ending that we did before with that D, G minor 7, A7, D. We're going to hold that out and end the whole song the same way that we did with the third ending all the way to the end. And instead of ending on the A7, what I think we should do is just go through the process of seeing that we can have one more concept at the end and end on a misleading, unfinished kind of tone. So if this isn't a key of D, the most unfinished, unlistened tone in this would be a sus. So maybe just end it on a D sus. So if we had F7 to the B flat because we've got those triplets there craving your longing to linger to dawn just to say interesting I hope you had a great time I did <laughs>